Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys five things every Samsung Galaxy smartphone owner should do to their camera settings to get an enhanced experience with the actual camera. So let's dive in and start with number one. So what you want to do is you want to launch your camera, and then once you launch the camera, you want to swipe over or go to the video. Once you're at the video, you want to tap on the settings, and that's going to take you into video specific settings for the camera. So once you're here, at the bottom here, you're gonna see something known as tracking autofocus. Simply enable that and let me show you exactly what it does. It's an amazing feature that makes this camera worth so much more. All right, so with the tracking autofocus enabled, here's an amazing little thing you can do. So you can see that I have a car right over there. Uh, that could be anything. That could be your pet, that could be your children, that could be a car in real life could be an aeroplane that you're trying to track as you're recording it. So the good thing is, what you can do is after you enable tracking autofocus, you can tap on the object you want to track, and it's going to give you a little uh, square around the object, that yellow tracking square. And then as that object moves in your viewfinder, the camera in the phone is going to continue to track that automatically. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna move it forward, and you can see that the focus, the tracking autofocus, actually remains on the car as it is moving around. This makes it so much easy to track a moving object. So when you're doing moving videography, this is gonna be an amazing little tool. Again, let me just grab this. Let's see, this was a flying plane it just tracks it wherever it goes, okay? So the focus just remains on the car no matter where it goes or whatever object it is that you are in fact tracking. Fantastic little feature. And just to be 100% clear, even if you are in the actual photo mode, you can still use the tracking out of focus. Again, just pick the object you wanna track, tap on it, uh, it's gonna start to track it, tap again on track, and then tap it again to retract the correct uh, place. And again, uh, you can do burst photos. So as that object is moving around, you can continually take shots, uh, but the focus remains on the selected object. So it works both in video and photo mode, just so you know. All right, so let's talk about number two. Again, go into your camera, and now I want you guys to be at the photo setting, and then tap on settings. And what I want you guys to do is, it's going to look a little bit simple, but I'm going to show you extended functionality of this feature. So go down a little bit, and over here, you know that we have the location tags. So if you disable this and take a photo, the photo that gets saved into your gallery does not have any location information. But if you enable this, it uses the built-in GPS of the phone and adds the location information exactly where that photo was taken for every single photo. Now, when you do this and take a bunch of photos, here's what you can do in your Samsung Gallery application. So I have a bunch of photos right here. Okay, I'm gonna tap on it. And you'll notice at the bottom corner, it tells me exactly where that photo was taken and also a little date when it was taken. If I swipe over, Again, the same thing. If I swipe over, if I don't have the location enabled, it shows me the date, but it does not show me the location. And of course, even this is something you have to enable in the settings. I'm gonna show you how to actually see the date at the bottom here. But that's one nice thing you can do when you enable location information. So in your gallery, I want you guys to go to the settings. So let me go back here to the main gallery. I am gonna tap on the settings over here, okay? And here, what you wanna enable is you wanna enable show date and location info. If I disable this, and if I go back out, and if I go to that same album, you'll notice that we're not gonna see anything at the bottom, okay? So, so when you enable the location info and the date info, you get more information as you're browsing through your photos. I just change it back and you can see it's going to show the location on the top media and then the date at the bottom. And of course, when you swipe up, always you get much more information and the exact location of the actual photo on a given map. It even shows me the name of the park right here. It says Rose Tree Park is where I took that photo. So incredible little feature. Just make sure in the camera, 
location tags are enabled and then go to gallery and enable show info all right so let's move on to the next tactic so again go back to the camera and then be in the photo and tap on these settings and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the grid lines enabled so if you disable the grid lines okay uh, as you try to take a photo and align a shot you're not going to be able to do it with precision because there's no grid lines to guide you but if you tap on this guy and if you go down a little bit and you enable the grid lines you are going to see these grid lines and they are going to allow you to better align the photo especially if you want to center an object or maybe use the rule of thirds method to get some amazing shots it's simply going to allow you to align everything better it's something that should be enabled at all times for the best shots possible all right next feature has to do with voice control so if you tap on your settings and if you go all the way down right over here it says shooting methods now this setting i want to talk about is this one right here the voice control option now this might be sitting in slightly different places in some samsung phones but that's the option you want to look for so voice control is going to allow you to take photos from a distance if you have your phone or tripod just by using your voice by saying things like smile cheese capture shoot and if you want to just record a video, just say record video. So if I'm enable this, and if I go back into my camera, cheese, cheese, you can see on the top, it recognized that I was actually speaking one of the keywords. It actually showed me a little voice and it took the photo, which is a black photo in this scenario. I'm going to say the keyword one more time, cheese. You saw that little thing at the bottom and it took a photo right after that. And again, uh, you can go e in here uh, at the bottom to shooting methods and you will be able to see that you can say all these five different words or phrases to get things done. If I go back out here, go to video, record video. You see it started to record the video just as I said the keyword. So that is absolutely fantastic all right so the final thing i want to talk about the camera is going to be rearranging the camera modes to your needs so what you want to do is you want to tap on more and then over here you have this edit button now when you click on the edit button you'll notice that you can actually grab any one of these things and just put them right over here okay and on top of that you can grab them and you can move them around the only thing you cannot move back and forth is photo and video samsung has those in locked positions but you can have everything on this side of the photo and video if you want as you can see let me just grab that over here or if you don't want something over here okay you can just dump them right here uh, some people like less confusion so if all you do is taking photos and videos on your phone you can only have those two options and if you want to explore the remaining options you can tap on more and access them right from here and again at any given time you can tap on this and rearrange it as you please all right so that was the final tactic i want to share with you guys if you do have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.